Yeah, and for you guys who are watching at home, uh, I did put together an attic mister feature for anybody who just wanted to go through and just see the core parts of the attic mister. I'm putting that together for the Exodia deck, which will be going live around Wednesday, so you'll be able to see uh, dance, some of Dan's duels and an explanation of the deck and that in one easy spot, so you don't have to go through the whole live stream to, to find that information. So, if Summoner Monk successfully summons and the game doesn't stutter, <laughs> like, okay, he didn't have Ash, he didn't have Valor, and he didn't have Max C, so he's not going to get to them later. Hmm. Your yeah. win rate in this situation is obnoxiously high, like, uncomfortably high, but only if you, like, do it correctly. Um, this is just one where I'm abusing the fact that <laughs> there's, there's cards that we've banned in the TCG that are not banned on Master Duel that really need to be, but... Uh, all you have to do is get all the vanillas, like, out of your deck. Is, is I'm, I'm just trying to, like, go over this, because there was people in the comments who were like, how do you, like, play this deck properly? Uh, drawing your normal monsters is bad, uh, so the goal is to play as many spells as you can and have Treasure Pan to pull all of the normal monsters out of your deck. Drawing effect monsters is not great either, to be fair. You want to draw spells so you have more summons, but, uh... I have another panda in hand, so Sariuja here can just summon that. Sariuja, whatever. Um, and that's just like a free summon. So down he comes, and I can get rid of all those extra monsters. And I've got, there, that's five pieces of Exodia. Two limbs, two arms, two legs, and this gets back the head. So from here, it's about getting all five pieces in the graveyard. And I've already got an arm and a leg. Uh, I've only got one spell, so panda's going to have to get... I'm pretty sure knowing myself I would get the other leg here because I usually work from the bottom to the top and look at that, I'm wrong. But Dark Factory gives me a second spell to add the two pieces. And then Panda can banish it to get the other leg. But you still have to get to the head of Exodia. And my number one way to do that is usually shooting Riser Dragon, but there's not like a super easy Riser from here. There is, however, Union Carrier. <laughs> Union, Union Carrier carriers. is just Lava Vault Chain in Disguise. Um, I've been saying that since the card came out. All you have to do is make a Link 2, and like I equipped the head to the arm from the deck, and then <laughs> Link it off, and now it's in the graveyard. It, it is just Lava Vault Chain. Um, people were using it to equip Dragon Buster and all this other like degenerate stuff, but uh, at the end of the day, it is just Foolish Burial on a Link 2 body. Yeah, it's a pretty good card. Union Carrier, a lot of decks. Uh, the thing I hate seeing it do the most is uh, equipping the Eva in the Droitron deck. That's another deck I despise. 